Hello folks, welcome back to Otter Baron on Forum Simulator 22 for episode 18 I think this is and yeah we've pretty much come from the back of the last episode we went and did some work and for some reason recording failed on that so basically what we did if we tab over to here we've lined field what's this field 40 we at least get rid of the map nope there we go we've leased this and we're pretty much done with it now we bought 10,000 years worth of lime we've got 4,000 years left so we could store that somewhere um let's go over here and hit unload why did they spawn in the middle of the, over there I thought they would be spawned next to the fertilizer spreader but not in the field but we can push those over and then later on we can go on our class and that and then we can sort that out but yeah so that is the liming done fortunately didn't show you folks that but to be honest that only took us a couple of minutes we sold the lime spray that we bought several episodes ago because um yeah small capacity only a thousand years i thought mm, perhaps we could get away with it but this went from here to about here before it stopped that was it that was all the actually i think it's about here so give or take and that was all the lime gone so i thought you know what let's just go and hand these that that costed us about 2400 not including the lime of course we got a honey pad spawn up so we moved them over and boy two honey oh sorry two beehives definitely worth it as doubled our honey production i would say at least got some less pallets have spawned up and what else um obviously last episode we did uh plowing we did cultivation with our brand new cultivator over here and over here we've got our bells and this is going to be an interesting one because we got 28 bells in total of 152,000 years worth of silage along with another 10 15 30 35 yeah. so yeah about i'll say about 190 or so thousand years of silage so that's going to be a lot of money for us that is ooh, 190,000 years how much is that if we set up for about 650 per foul that is a lot of money for us can't do the math quickly so yeah and of course also i did notice in the last episode and we will resolve it somehow either in this episode or before next episode if for some reason one of these great volumes weren't harvested don't know why i think it was an issue when coming into saving that last time around but any hoops so yeah got slice bells all over the place now we need to get that picked up but we've accepted a contract for sunflower hence why we've got tx i we haven't bought it or leased it field 32 not much um six grand and then with sunflowers and that and of course i did my guide to well episode 15 slash guide to video on exactly how much you need to keep and we know the math is about 71.25 71 71.5 percent of the crop needs to be sold and this needs to go to the train store now so actually that's very good for us and obviously we can easily store that well, of course we had to head a train there if we want to use it but I mean, I'll, I'll risk it on the roads now hopefully there's no cars coming and as soon as in the car so yeah we're good so field 32 is just over here behind the dairy factory and yes we'll get it unfolded get the harvester unfolded and i think for this i'll just get the worker cracking on because we've got other things to do and that class trader and tractor that ain't ours he was the exact same thing what we got that isn't ours or oh, still raining mm. okay well sun is out so perhaps we can't harvest this yet interesting so fair enough we can't harvest it then that's fine we will just go ahead and get things ready so just put is there a steer mode for this i swear it was there we go turn so that's what we want it we want the articulation that's the best kind of steering for our beat harvester 
to get right into all the beats and that and easy maneuver as well so yeah we'll get us over to field 42 that we bought in the last episode so I'll get the map up there for the moment to actually look but yeah we'll get this positioned and we'll put the times back up to times 5 now let's just get this rid of this rain because we've got a few things to do but I think what we can do first of all is get the silage spell sorted actually what let's do the sorry here yeah, let's do the uh, what am I thinking of fertilizers fertilizer fields so yeah we'll get you in position over here hope we're not blocking the road they're not see so, are we blocking the road What's very close. We'll move it forward an inch. Oh, I do love it. That engine. That's a nice proper engine. But yeah, so fetishes and all that all over with. And so yeah, we'll get this. We'll take this over. So yeah, we'll get the fertilizer spray hooked up, and then we'll start for our fills, and then we can go ahead and start. Planting the wheat, that, that needs to be done today. This is the last day to do the wheat, and I don't know where I'm going. We'll go this way, we'll cut across our field. So, yeah, 39 is going to be our wheat field, so we'll fertilize it first. Then we'll get the worker cracking on with the seeding. And then, yeah, we'll just go from there. Rain has stopped now. Please says it stopped. Oop. Yeah, so yeah, rain is literally just stopped, so sometimes it takes like a quarter of an hour when it says it's clear for the rain to stop, which makes sense. And of course with the sunflower we could keep it what we got and get sunflower oil. However, I don't think we've got the production plan. I think hot, or not hot, is it, I oh, know, I think it's like hot Beirun or whatever it is. Yeah, it doesn't have that. So if we zoom in, so we've got the spinnery up here. We've got grain elevator. We got the carpentry and so was that spinnery? No, carpentry and sawmill. Farm shop, great processing plant. Biomass heating plant. Got the bakery, grain mill, and dairy factory. So. Yeah, I think that is it. Biogas plant is there. What's we'll over here? Animal market and every crusher. So yeah. So what are you doing? Huh? Uh, no idea. Ah, uh, no idea. But yeah, we'll get parts get worker on the street. Part might help. So yeah, actually, what we'll sell the sunflower and actually. Turns with the production stuff, even though they the combine run away. Hopefully, it doesn't crash into anything. So, we got the dairy, so we need sugar and milk. Sugar milk for all maps you need to buy. And that is what, 80 grand, I think? Yep, 80 grand. Green milk, use that to make flour and. What else? Bakery, we use that to make cakes or bread. But then again, we need sugar for the cake, so if we want to do cakes, we need a sugar meal regardless. So, yeah, I really think, that apart from the great processing plant which we've currently got, I think the only real option for us is the green meal and then the bakery f flour. All the others require a lot more of a process than that, and of which I don't mind. If it, if it was available on the map like Elm Creek, I think it's got all of them apart from the sugar mill. Then yeah, I'll go ahead and purchase them and use them. However, on this series, um, there ain't that much that for us to use. Even though we're on easy economy and that, yeah, I don't waste. Not, it's not so much of a waste, I don't want to sacrifice field space for a production plant. Yes, I could be a bit cheeky and put money in and just say this is like a 
extension of this guy. I don't know, um, what I'm trying to think of here. Like a business estate, and yep, yeah, sorry about all of a sudden jump cut there. And we're uh, perhaps, um, yeah, for some reason, um, obviously, perhaps you did hear, I'm um, sorry, a bit of stat staticness, um, yeah, for some reason, controller died, and uh, for whatever reason, when the controller dies, it sort of leaves a static sound in the editing or in the video. Sorry, luckily, I knew that now before editing this, so yeah, so yeah, anywho. So we're going to get you working on here still. Also, we're going to get the beat harvester started and we initiated one row before we had the mic issue, mic issue there with well, the game recording issue where everyone quit, but yeah, so I'll let you go along and just do what you do. And what else do we need to do? Um, nope, don't need to do it in B then. Ah, that's it, C then. So yeah, we'll pop you down here, and I'll use the class for this. Because this is a 180 horsepower requirement, and our tractor is 205. 205 to 10, whatever it is, so yeah. Wheat or barley, I haven't quite decided. We'll think about it as we head over here. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm thinking wheat. Yeah, simple, basic wheat. And even if you don't use it for chickens and that, I'm definitely going to use it for making flour. Because that's something I want to do in the new year, is get the grain mill going. So yeah, we'll go and just get you backed up. And there we go folks, we're on our way. Oh shite, uh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, just from language there. Um, I did say we was going to fertilize the field, didn't we? Yeah, that was it. New I was forgetting something. Yeah, fertilize. So yeah, that bit there can be fertilized twice. Well, it can be fertilized twice, but I have to wait for the growth state to pop up. My apologies there, folks. Yeah, we'll get, get the fertilizer here. Do you know what? We could go and return. Set plow. And said fertilizer spreader. Um, speaking fertilizer spreader. Where's ours too? Uh, where? Where did I leave the fertilizer spreader to? Don't tell me I left it across the map when we was doing that contract last episode. Yeah, I think I did. Yep, I left it up here, but luckily I did because we accepted a quick contract for fertilizing. And how much is that? 4200. Yep, no worries. Cotton harvest field 36. How big is that? What's that big one down there? Perhaps. Oof. There we go. Careful. But the thing is, obviously we can't, I've got, I can't figure out how to do the field because obviously as you learned with the cotton harvest on last, did we do that, a contract or at least I learned it when I was doing my live stream where it won't, ooh, could put your indicator on please. Yeah, so we're off, when you sell the cotton, big bell, obviously it'll take all of it, even if there's extra for you to actually keep. So yeah, I think I'm going to avoid doing the cotton harvest contracts. So yes, 12 grand. Be worth it. Perhaps a grand in worker cost in that. Oh, for a decent, you've got a full green tank. Okay, that's you down there. We need to empty the sunflower trader. <coughs> or a trader that we're using for sunflower, because that's full. Yeah, the X-Line, that's got a big capacity, 18,000 or so. It's literally one and a little bit of the load. Boom, that is full. So, yeah. We're going to be carting back and forth here a bit. So, that's a good thing we've got workers as well. I really don't want a new trader. I want at least a 35, ideally a 40,000 year capacity trader. In hindsight, yes, I am regretting selling that big trader that we had ages ago. That 50,000 year semi trader. Could have whacked a dolly and used a tractor for it, but I just didn't think of it at the time. And yeah, now I'm regretting my choices on that. 
Also, I'll put the times down to times two because we're starting to lose light now. And I forgot, yeah, because we're in that. <coughs> we are going to lose quite a bit of light quite quickly, so yeah. Also, the great processing plant is nearly done, so we need to put these grapes in. We'll do that somehow, secretly off camera. But yeah, I just want to get the most of this done if I can. Oh yeah, I need to fertilize our field as well. Yeah, there's just a lot of work to do, so. In order to do that, folks, I think it's time for a little time lapse here. Folks, here we are. We are just taking a bit of a preview here. We've been carting back and forth, and that is because if we go to the map, we've been going back and forth to the railway silo. We're storing that there because obviously we can't put it into our silo because it's not a multi fruit silo, we don't have a storage for them. So we've been kindly putting them into here, and that is sort of realistic because you would put them into like a corporate silo or even like a railway silo. To be transported at a certain date 
Our for us, obviously, we're not going to sell sugar beets because we're going to do sugar beet cut. And if we go to the prices, sugar beet cut. So at the moment, we've got 112,000 in the years. Uh, sugar beet cut. So yeah, sugar beet, we can sell it via the train if we want to. Should be cut. Either at the livestock market or at the buy gas plant. And even if you sell it now, that is a big price increase. That's nearly, that's what, like 75% increase? 60, 75%. And all it requires is just come up with the Flegal Ruby 2000. The Fiegel Ruby 2000 doesn't cost a lot to lease. So if you go to our tools, it's front of tools. Oh no, not that. That's gonna cost us 800 quid. Then what we can do to get into the biogas plant potentially is use a belt system so we can cut it, we can dump it into here, the Meridian TL1239. That's gonna cost us another 740 quid. Or we can cut it, put it into a big pilo, or not not pilo, pile, pick it up with the lizard S710, that will convey it up, and then we can go into the meridian, or if you want to be super crazy, go from that to the grimy, then into that. But how much that's gonna cost to these? Uh, 900, so yeah, perhaps we won't do that, but yeah, for what the cost of 1700-1800 quid, we can have a nice conveyor belt system. But yeah, so sunflower, I've already got 1000 and about 50 liters in the silo, I think. Let me look here if I can remember which one tab to go to. There we go, prices 1071 liters. That's because I have all the crop that we got. I was doing the math from my testing, 71.5% of the total crop needs to be sold. That works out to about a thousand and thirty, yeah, a thousand and thirty in the silo. Plus the twenty two thousand five hundred we've got here. I've gone a bit extra just to get that make sh double making sure we can actually sell everything. But my math is solid, so I'm confident of that. And the 9,000 years we've got left in the Combine Harvester will be sold. Also, for the time being, I've left time down to 0.5. I know I've said we'll do it like times 5, times 6 and that for most of it. However, we're losing light. And just for the sake of recording, hopefully you understand, hopefully you accept that. That I'm just going to leave it at that because I won't get this done. I want to get idea if we can get the oh, oh that was a bit of a big oversteer at the moment. If we can get the harvesting done. What at the very least, just get the wheat planted. That's a must. So that's we're not risk that. Oh. oh yeah, of course I had a green door to be very precise with my There we go. So I'll undo it into here. And then we'll call the train. And train is not here yet. So if that will come in a moment. I left the thing up here on the right to tell us where we can rent the train from. It's usually here, right? There we go. Two and a half kilometers, 2.4. So that'll be here in a minute. So this 9,000 years, we can store that into the silo. Uh, where are we to? We're here, so yeah, just drive straight across. Also, we've been fertilizing. We didn't fertilize all the fields, we just did. So, we to. Sorry. 250 hours, and you think I'll nav navigate the system as well. So, yeah, 40 is done, 39 is done. Um, we're going to do 38, get that done today. Also, I actually did a bit of the grape field because if we go to. What's here? Uh, let's go to his chicken pens at the moment. Yeah, basically what I did was I just opened the sprayer here, right by the edge, at 42 meters. So we've got 21 meters going across. And yeah, so 
We got a bit of the grapes. Actually, how much of the grapes did we get? To about there. So I'm thinking, what's that? Oops. How many vines is that? That's a fair bit. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did we get eight? I'll say we got eight vines, and this is one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, if we fertilize on this side next, we should get all of the grapevines, so we don't need to these that um purpose um what am I trying to say? The fertilizer thing um that you use for the grapevines because just using that we can do I think someone said seven vines, so we may have got seven, eight vines. Let's just say we've got seven. Then we could do the f five plus the extra one here that we may off or may not have got on the trains here. So yeah, we're going to do that. But first of all, we're going to go into here. And we're going to load up. No, not sugar beets and that. Sunflower. So 23,571. And 71.5% of 32,884. That was the total crop we got, it's 23,512. So you've got an extra 60 litres, so I'm going to be a bit generous. It's close to Christmas, so I'm thinking, yeah, we'll give them an extra 60 litres. <laughs> yeah, proper Christmas Saint Titan I folks, but yeah. So if this works, then we know my math is correct, and my video is still correct from episode 15. I think in the actual math, like seventy one point like two five percent. But really, when I was doing the test, and I was explaining like that extra point two five percent of crop you're gonna get, will it really matter? Unless you do like sugar beets and now like potatoes, where you get hundreds of thousand liters from a little field, then perhaps. But so yeah, that's fine. Seventy five percent has been transported. But why isn't the contract done? Ah, have we left crop left in the field? Because if we've d d yeah, yeah, that's it, we've left some crop in the field. Oh, that, that scared me for the moment. Yeah, uh, that's my mistake. Oh, yeah, well, we have quite a bit here, actually. I say quite a bit, I mean, it, it's a little strip. Few of well, yeah, that gave me a heart attack then. <laughs> so, yeah, this little strip here will pick up and it'll be contract complete. Few that, that am a heart attack going on. Well, yeah, 75% has been transported, so why wasn't the contract saying it's completed? Even though it says 75% has been transported, we've only done it's like seventy one point five five whatever percent. So yeah, from now I gave him thirty oh, sorry, forty years too much. Actually, no, sorry, seventy years too much. Yeah, I'll, I'm literally arguing over a hundred years here, folks. That's how pathetic I am. But no, so yeah, nine thousand four hundred and eighty eight liters we've got. And then we can sell the sunflower. Oh, well, actually, when can we sell the sunflower? Wrong tab. Go to the prices. Sunflower. 2500 at the moment at the green elevator, and that's going up. Best time to sell it. Actually, I'll sell it now. Yeah, 2500 seems to be quite reasonable. Uh, let me check my notes here, folks. I do have a note somewhere about the prices for sunflower here, so bear with me at the moment. Actually, that is a really good price. Average selling price for uh, the, 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 what I say? sunflowers is 2019, according to Drive 53. I'm guessing that's on. Normal economy, even though it says average soil prices for easy and new farmer. Does that mean easy economy or just like, I guess that's easy economy, which we're running. And we're getting 2500. Yes, the prices can go up by 50%, so. 
an extra event in high demand, so that'll be what? Nearly close to 3,000. So, yeah, we're actually going to sell this. Get a bit of cash in that I didn't actually plan. But sometimes the best plans are the ones that you don't expect. So, I'm going to pick this up, folks, take this to the farm shop, and I'll see you folks in a moment. So yeah, here we are, just approaching the farm shop, and yeah, sorry about the little skip forward in time a bit, we sort of did a bit of trick behind cameras, and we've got the grapes harvested, and they're in the processing plant now, we've got 512 litres for that, and no, I didn't compensate myself off the crop that we could have, the amount of money we could have got from it, so the average price is about 1800 per foul for grapes, so we could have helped ourselves an extra £900 in, but I thought, nah, let's not do that, just not fill around with that, so just dumped it in, and then there we go. So yeah, we got 15,000 litres, not litres, £15,000 for that, so now we can actually use that to pay off the extra loan that we took at the start of the episode to get all the equipment in that, because obviously the last couple of episodes has been a bit full on in that, but yeah. So, to round off this episode, because it is getting dark, we're losing a lot of light. I have got the worker continuing on with the harvest of the sugar beets. I'll let that worker continue on until we end the episode here, so... Next episode we will be finishing it off on camera. Yes, I could do it off camera, get it done tonight. But that's why one thing I've got to be careful, because I think the worker charges a lot more at night after 6 o'clock, so... You know what? Not sure, since Zandine's here, let's look at the grape process sometimes, so... oh, look at that, folks, we got our grape juice! I guess that's grape juice, that's our raisins? Yep. It's the sweetest of raisins. And the sweetest taste of juice. So far we've got three pallets, that is 432 litres each. And how much have we got in the processing plant now? Got another 1,100 litres to go, so we should get another pallet of grape juice in a moment. And similar with the... Actually, no, sorry, that's what, how much we've got out here, right? Four, eight... 12. No, I think it's still in the plant. So yeah, that's going to run out tonight. So as soon as that runs out, we're going to switch it off. Also, I've switched to tomatoes on greenhouses. Simple reason, price. Um, if we go down here, go down to our productions, produce, honey, price is going down on that. Lettuce at the moment is 2800 and decreasing. Meanwhile, tomatoes, very steady at 2,000. And as long as that stays around, I don't know, if it stays 1,800, 1,750, then we'll go and sell the tomatoes. Because obviously if we look at the productions tab, for every one lettuce we make, we can get two tomatoes. So we're going to have a lot more pallet and a bit more lag in that as well in the process when we're going to sell them. But yeah, so I'm going to let this worker stop here. You are done for the night. And we'll come back to you in the morning. There's no rain forecast for tonight, so we can get away with that. So yeah, as I was saying before, we head back to the farm, get the cedar hooked up, and then get that done. Yes, I think the film could have done with the soon as being picked. But yeah, we're just going to have the time this year. This year ran out of time. We're at the 11th hour, lights fading away, and we need to get the scene done. The rock picking, the only thing that does is it slightly increases the wear on harvester headers and the cedars as well. It doesn't affect the yield whatsoever. So, um, sacrifice a bit of wear, a bit of cost in that, so, mm, depends on to fill that size, you'll get about an extra 2 two to 5% wear compared to where we wouldn't have. <coughs> yeah, 2 to 5% wear on the header and that, compared to if it was stone pick, so yeah.
cost wise I don't think it's going to matter that much so yeah I'm happy with that so yeah let's get a seeder hooked up and let's run the episode by doing some seeding So yeah, here we are, and as we're having some fun with these bells here, just gently pull them with us. Come on, there we go. That's as slow he does it. But yeah, so yeah, we've done the wheat field, that did not take that long to be honest. And we're going to do the grass field here, because yes, I know the plant window doesn't, well it ends next month so next episode of November so we could still plant this in November however based on like summer and that we were getting size trials like every two inking months I think if I'm based on things correctly on the episode numbers every two to three months but if it's like every three months let's say if that's the case if we plant it now it'll be ready in February then we can have some March signage spells of course, we can always do grass. We don't have to stick to doing silage, but silage is just a bit more profitable at the moment. And I do want to get another field. And I'll, I should know. I'll say, I mean, a new harvester. We've already got a new field here. A new harvester, really. Perhaps a bigger cedar. I'll say that, and that our cedar is actually very good. So if you have a look here, good cedars. What's that? 12 meters? Yep. Yeah. Give that 50 meters. Really, one thing I really want is where is it to? John Deere. I do have a John Deere. However, I want the Great Plains. If this comes up in the used dealership, we're going to buy this. It's not only just the usual planting of corn, sunflower, soybeans, cotton, and sugar beet, that was it, also does wheat, barley, oats, canola, oilseed, rape, sorghum and grass. That comes up for, I don't know, 50, 60 percent, that is what, like 65 centi grand? That's definitely worth it. As well, rollers and mulchers, we really do need to get some. That will give us that extra yield increase, I know it will. Perhaps when our other crops start to pop up in their first growth, we may just lease a roller and roll it back in. 
Oh, oh, oh sorry. Uh, I could roll it now, actually, I think. Is it? Is it now? When it's in the for germination state, or is it when it's in the first group state? That you roll. I think it's... I know when we did the grass by accident, it reset to its first group state, so... Of when it starts to pop up from a first proper state, when it pops up through the ground. Technically, second state, because this state now is its first group state, is just germinating. But, anywho, that is going to be it for us today. So, next episode, finish the sugar beet harvest, get our corn silage done, and have a bit of silage in the summer. So, we're going to have a lot of silage to sell over the winter, folks. But, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, seriously smash the button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, fair choose to do. Hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.